for joining me for another week. I'm Kim Gow from Colour Passion. This week I thought we would use the ocean theme. I'm actually creating two new kits for oceans. One's going to be more turquoisey, the other one's going to be more blue. So with the turquoisey one, uh, I thought we would use our fantastic, they're going to be like this, uh, we'll use the Thornton Shimmer for the like the darker, deeper ocean. So that's the Thornton Shimmer. We will use then that mid-ocean. I thought the Rondaqua might be nice because it's it's not really turquoisey, but it's it's not real blue either. It's kind of in between, and that actually goes really nice with Thornton Shimmer. What I am going to do is I'm going to use the gel tint. It'll be the turquoise gel tint, and instead of putting it into the airless pump, I'm going to put them, decant them into a jar. It's actually going to be the same amount, would you believe? But at least we can fit it into the kit and it'll be easy, you know, to use. Uh, also the creme deluxe powder, because that's always gorgeous for the ocean sand. And then of course our famous top cell white. So that's what's going to be in the turquoise kit, if I can call it that way. Um, then we're going to have in the other kit, we're going to have Michelle Shimmer. I'm thinking I'll do a pour with it anyway and show you. Michelle Shimmer for the darker ocean. Then Cerulean, which is a fabulous colour for that, that mid ocean. Then we're going to use, um, I think the Aqua Gel would be nice with that. Uh, and then we'll use the Beach Sand Luster for the Beach Sand. Um, and of course, our Top Cell White. So we're going to have two new kits shortly. Uh, and I'll have a play with them today so that you can see what they look like. Okay, let's go and have some fun and see what we can create. Okay everybody, we're here. I've mixed up my resin. We're using the Barnes Epoxy Glass today. I don't know how the lacing is going to go because uh, I know that they did change a couple of ingredients in the product and it doesn't work as well as what it used to. However, I think it still works uh, fine by comparison to a lot of others out there. All right, so what we're going to do, we've got our Michelle Shimmer, our Cerulean, our Aqua Gel Tint, our Beach Sand Luster and Top Cell White. So we will pop them into the cup. actually got a bit much resin because um, I'm so used to mixing it up for a 50 centimeter board and this is only 40. Silly me. But you can feel reassured you're not the only one that does these muck-ups if you do. <laughs> anyway, all right, we'll see how we go with this. I'll leave a little bit to one side maybe and <clears throat> Just get the stirrers and we will mix away our colours. Okay, so Michelle Shimmer, one of my favourites, such a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. If you haven't seen it before, it's a beautiful blue and it's also got a gorgeous shimmer to it. So, should be plenty. If you are fairly new to resin uh, and mixing ratios are very important so basically what you need to do is have no more than five to ten percent of product ratio to the resin otherwise it will overwhelm the resin and you, you will have challenges with it it will overheat and flash off like set up and it'll be hot steam bubbly i've seen it happen uh, in the past with students that went overboard with the product thinking more was better but it's not less is more you can always add a little bit more but you don't want to overdo it seriously so let's see how we go with this okay This is a cerulean. Cerulean 
is beautiful. It's actually really lovely with the blue passion as well. But today we're gonna to do it with the Michelle Shimmer because I wanted the shimmer in the kit. And so with this, that's what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna try one pump of the Aqua Gel Tint. Such a gorgeous color. All these work beautifully together. Because remember, as you uh, the water is closer to the shore, you're going to get that transparency. And this is a gorgeous color. It really is aqua. So with Ocean Pores, I highly recommend this one. And then we'll do our Beach Sand Luster. So it's got a beautiful sort of gold through it, but you can't see the gold. Well, I suppose you can a little bit, but not a lot. And it is gorgeous. Perfect color for beach sand, which is why we created it for you, of course. Okay, let's give this a good mix. It is important to make sure that your paste or whatever you're mixing into your resin is well and truly mixed. Very important. Okay, and now, oops, a little bit of glue on that. What did I do there? I must have um, done it before on some, maybe it looks like the Cerulean or the Michelle. Just, oh geez, stuck on there a little. You might turn that around so it's on the top because it might show through the bottom. We don't want that. All right, so here we are. Here's our white, our beautiful top cell white. I've wiped off everything off the bottom of it. So I haven't added too much. We'll see how this one goes. Getting a good mix. Okay. Lovely. I'll even just add, I never know how much you're gonna need, but it seems probably got enough, definitely have got enough in the other cups, but I'll just add just a little bit more resin to this. I'm sure I've got more than enough. All right, well and truly mixed. So here we go. All right, so I've got my tape on. The thing I haven't done is balanced my board. Important, it's not too bad. Um, it's a little bit more up on this side, I think. I'm just gonna move the cup a bit now. I use these here, I don't know if you can see that. Um, they're actually from the tiling department. Uh, I got them from Bunnings, which is our hardware, our hardware store here in Australia. And they work really well for balancing up the boards. And oh, so it needs one on the other side because it's a bit not quite right. I'll put this out here. It's probably not too bad now. I've pushed that cup out there. That looks feels a bit light on. Um, actually, that's pretty good. So I probably don't need to worry about that. And now it might be a bit high because now I've moved those cups. No, I still need to move it a little bit. It's really important to get that balance, that levelling right because if you don't, you can end up with challenges. Like, you know, the, the things pulling off the wrong way and you don't want that. Okay, just a little bit of adjustment there, but it's all good. Okay, well, let's put our gorgeous Michelle Shimmer on first. So probably a quarter and a quarter. Okay, I'm just gonna leave that there for the moment and just with, I can do it with my fingers. I actually like doing it with my fingers, but I'll, for the sake of the exercise today, try and keep my hands clean and I shall do it with a spatula. Okay, 
do love this colour. It's beautiful. And I know our stockist in New Zealand, one of our stockists, Philip, he wanted a blue kit. And this is going to be perfect for him because he wanted, you know, one with more blues in it. So I thought, all right, let's do a turquoisey one and we'll do a bluey one. So this is the bluey one. And these are all really lovely ocean colours and perfect for ocean. All right, so that's what I like about these paper cups. You can just push them into a spout and pour across. Thing. We'll just spread that with our spatula. And we can bring some of that darker colour down a little bit into the cerulean, when I say darker, on the shell, down into the cerulean anyway so that it uh, makes it look like, you know, the water doesn't stop and start, does it? So if we do it sort of so that it's just a little bit overlapping, like so, that's absolutely fine. Now, the next one is our gel. These gels are gorgeous. You've got so many uses for gels. Look at that colour. Just beautiful. It's like a, a really lovely tropical ocean coming down to the shore totally transparent whereas the other ones are opaque sand which is beach sand luster Okay, so now what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to hit it, um, actually not with the little one, I think I'll hit it with the bigger one, just the propane gun, just to burst all the bubbles that have been brought to the surface in the uh, mixing process. Then what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to leave it maybe five to 10 minutes before I put the white on. I'm just gonna let that sit. Maybe, yeah, five to 10 minutes. So I'll just stop the uh, recording and then I will come back. Okay, it hasn't quite been five minutes yet, but while we're just waiting for that, I just decided I kind of like how this is coming along here. So I'm gonna add like a little bit more because I have got more color here anyway. And, uh, just kind of bring it down a little bit more. So I do like the two together and I think that will do it justice. So there we are. Okay, so what we'll do now is we'll pop some white on. All right, we'll just, I don't want to put too much on, but just a little okay and I do run it off the edge over the tape because you don't want to sort of stop at the edge and end up with a big lump okay let's actually what I'll do first though, is I'm just going to heat it with a torch first I 
find this just starts the process a little. to just run along the bottom here that's a bit more of a line rather than all that jagged edge that I sort of had there okay now we'll go to the next sort of level which is here there and then we'll do the next one I might just actually put that across the middle sort of here and then we'll push that up I don't want lots of it going up there I think that'll work quite well again just keep this dribbled it didn't I? Oh, well. Here we go. Okay. I might actually put just a little bit more sort of here because I feel it's just a bit too light. Oops. See how we go. I think along here and hit it again.
this didn't have enough life on there, I feel. And it doesn't matter that that's softer because it's kind of further back in the ocean anyway. So I think that's probably okay. Look, I'm just, I think I'm just gonna leave it at that because otherwise you can spend a lot of time mucking around like I'm doing. Just sort of move it around just a little bit. Just to sort of, so it looks like it's kind of a bit more like water. Okay. But sometimes you, we don't know when to stop, do we? And then we can end up mucking it all up. So you know what, I'm just gonna leave it at that. So we shall let this cure and, and then, actually what I will do is I'll come back in maybe 15 minutes and I'll uh, remove the tape. That's what I'll do. So I'll be back then. Okay, we're back again. I'll just pull this tape off now and see how it goes. I'm not totally happy with this lacing at all, but as I said, it's, oops, it's a real challenge with this resin since they've changed the ingredients not happy I am looking for other resins because it can be the making of your piece or the failing of it as it were so I've just gone around and made sure that that's come over the edge and I think it's fine okay then everybody we will leave that for now and uh, we'll hopefully it'll all cure nicely and uh, I'll see you once it's cured okay bye Okay, here we are with our next pour. So we've got Thornton Shimmer, Rom d'Aqua, Turquoise Gel Tint, Creme Deluxe for our sand, and of course our Top Cell White. Now, I've mixed up the resin, a little on the yellow side, but never be afraid to use that. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that uh, the hardener, no, uh, part B is the, yeah, the hardener part of it. Um, often we'll go a bit yellow, that's with most of them. I think if you had a huge white base, um, then maybe you'd be, think twice, but honestly, when you've got colors and it's a little bit of white, it's absolutely fine. I've not had issues at all. Let's put the white there, let's put a bit more into there. And we'll go into there. All right. So this is the second kit that I am putting together and we have the, the Thornton, the Ronde Aqua, the Turquoise Gel Tint because the wonderful creative Erica from Artist Till Death said that she wants a kit with the gel tints in because she loves them, she thinks they are absolutely amazing and she's right and perfect for that transparent water coming down to the shoreline. So, and again, this will be in the little 30 gram jar. It'll be 20 mil, which is exactly the same as what the container is, but it's just gonna be in a little jar and it will be uh, foil sealed, so it will be fine. All right, so here we are. Some of that off. Sorry, a little bit messy. So it's a lovely deep ocean. The Thornton Shimmer is amazing. And of course, this is after Jeff Thornton of Artist Till Death, the wonderful husband of Erica. Beautiful. I don't know if you can sort of see that in this light, but it really is such a gorgeous colour. All right. Then we've got the Rondaqua. And the Rondaqua is named after Rhonda. In fact, created especially for Rhonda, who is RK3. Rhonda and Kenny Draculis. Lovely, lovely couple. Very creative and the RK3 Designs is their website. And they specialize in countertop designs and they do workshops in sequin in the USA. And I'll tell you what, if I was over there, I would definitely be wanting to go and do one of their workshops. I think they would be amazing. 
and they're such beautiful people as well okay so now we've got this turquoise now this has been open and it is an air air pump so i might actually just grab another one how we go. I've used it so much so I don't even know where we're at with it all but anyway we'll pump this one a bit because this one has a new one hasn't been used there we go so now stir around gee it's a gorgeous color this turquoise it really is. So the turquoise, it's it's um, totally transparent and perfect for the water as it comes down, as I said before, to the shell line. Shore line, not shell line, shore line. I've been out for dinner and had a, had a glass of wine. There you go. <laughs> Getting all my tongue uh, all mixed up. All right, so now I'm popping in some of the creme de lax. This is a beautiful colour, a beautiful colour for the sand because it's got a bit of gold in it and it's got the shimmer. The more you add to it, the more gold it will go. So if you want it more white or light, then you only put a little bit in to give it a shimmer. Okay, so it's just so beautiful. Would you believe when we first got this color it was actually a mistake it was sent in error and we absolutely loved it and it's been a top seller it is an amazing powder and you can mix the powders and paste together absolutely fine all right now we're going to pop in a little bit of our top cell white because obviously we've got to have our waves don't we wipe some of that off because i don't need a lot how we go okay. just like to wipe it and then sort of make sure that it's all mixed up properly okay so there's our white so let's get started now. I haven't put the tape on this one. I thought, let's see how we go with not putting a tape on and just pouring it straight onto the board and then, you know, letting it drip off. I would love to know in the comments if below, so below, if you would kindly let me know where you're watching from. What area, what country? Are you in the US? If you're in the US, what uh, state are you in or county? It would just be really lovely to know. I mean, we have some regulars which are amazing and I love hearing from them each week. I really do, it gives me such a lift when I have comments from you. You're very special, each and every one of you. And if you haven't uh, subscribed yet, please do. It uh, makes all what I do worthwhile. So subscribe, and it's actually, I, I learned sort of after the event, but um, it is really important to hit that notifications bell because then you will get advised each time there is a or video or tutorial. Okay. Gosh, it is really such a gorgeous colour, this. All right. So we've got this. Now we've got the Rondacqua. So we'll pull this across. And I'm going to mix the two a little bit together. leveled my board so things shouldn't run off in the wrong direction it should be okay it's a bit of fluff on that side there 
Mm, pussy fluff, I don't know. It's white fluff, which is probably my cat Charlie, who's a very cheeky boy and long haired. So this time of the year, the fur seems to be everywhere. All right, so I'm just gonna pull him down just a little bit here, which we don't need too much. I certainly don't want it all to run off. Okay, there we have it. It's a gorgeous color and it goes so beautiful with this Thornton shimmer, I've got to say. It's really pretty. And then we're just going to kind of mix them up a little bit so that it's in there. In fact, if I just get a little bit of the Thornton and drizzle it across, then I can just mix it up, can't I? This thing adds just a little bit of, rather than starkness, it's really great just to, just to gently sort of mix them a little bit. Sort of wavy. There we go. You don't have to do this, of course. It's just something that I have developed that I like to do. All right. So now we will put our turquoise whoop, turquoise gel tint. which is very, very pretty. And it really does look like a, I don't know, like a Caribbean holiday. That's what it reminds me of, all these gorgeous colors. that a little bit. Okie dokie, got that. But because I haven't got the tape, I'm making sure as I go that around the edges, I'm just pulling that resin down a little bit so that the rest will just glide over a little. All right, and now we've got our beautiful Creme Deluxe, which is our sand. Okie dokie. So we're just going to just gently push this over. And smooth it around the bottom here. It doesn't matter that there's a little bit of the tint on it in nature, nothing's perfect, is it? Even in life, nothing's perfect. We've learnt that, haven't we? And if you've been dealing with resin for a little while and playing with it, you'll know that nothing's perfect. Or am I the only one that's found out that things aren't perfect? <laughs> Maybe that's the case. Anyway, okay, let's see what happens now. All right, so we're just going to actually know. I'll use the propane torch. I'm just going to burst those bubbles. Okay, so we have our base ready for our ocean. So now we just need to do the wave. I'm thinking I'm going to leave it for five minutes and I'll come back and then we'll do that. Okay, we're back again. It's been about five minutes. So now I'll put the white on. I don't think it's done much, but I mean, I just like to let it wait a little bit. Really, it would be good if I probably even waited another five minutes just to let it thicken up a little bit, but we'll see how this goes. Alrighty, so we'll just sort of Pour him across. Oop. So that would be our little coastline. Shoreline. Uh, 
So what I'm doing with the heat is I'm simply just heating it up with the torch. You can see it's already soaked a little bit. And so now we're just going to hit it with the heat gun. Leave it at that. Don't like that there, so I'm just gonna touch it to hopefully correct it. I'm just gonna hit this with a little butane torch just to pick up those cells a little bit. I mean, they'll continue anyway. So now what we'll do is we'll do the next layer, next wave. Actually, it's pulling off that end. I don't want to see it go too far, so we'll take this off. Pushing there because I didn't want to lose my beach, but now I'm looking and seeing and it's sort of actually going off that way. Anyway, let's see how we go. So we'll just do, not too thick, but a little bit. Just do a final little one up the top here. And we don't actually have to do it all the way across. Let's just do a bit here and maybe just a little bit here. Oop, gosh, I did too much there. Gosh, oh well. <laughs> what happens? I might just try it on the lower speed to push it up. Just going out this side. Okay, and then here. Here we go. As I said to you, nothing's perfect, so it doesn't matter that that's all sort of uh, wild, if you like, waves there. Um, and then we've got this one running along here. I might even push that around a little bit as well, so it doesn't look too perfect. And you can do this, because if you don't give it a go, you're never, never gonna know, are you? So I'm just doing what I tell you to do. Giving it a go. I might totally mess it up, but you know what? Unless I do give it a try, though I'm not going to know, am I? So, I'm not really happy with that there. I think it just looks not right. So, I'm just going to get this and just sort of push it a little bit across the bottom there. See what happens. So, I don't want it all too curly. And of course, what you can do is the next day, after this is cured, you can come back in and you can do the next layer. And how you would do that is you would put a tint from here up. Then you would put white across the bottom and then you would blow that up. The next day you come back and from this area here, you would do tint up. So you're covering all that. And then you would put your white along and you would blow that up and then the final day again 
you just put a cross tint here up, white across and blow it up. And then you get a really 3D effect. It's really quite lovely. So perhaps that's something I can do in another tutorial. Okay, that's, um, let's make it so it's more of a, a line across there. Okay, tap it a little bit. Might just uh, get the butane and just soften it. We don't want harsh lines, but we also want it so that it's not too lacy all over. Getting that ocean edge sort of better than what it was, I thought. Mm, not happy with the way this bit looks either. Okay. Let's just put this on. There we go. Looks like a bit of a wave there. We might just sort of, oops, just try and push this back a little bit this way. Okay. Maybe that. It sort of looks like a wave rolling in. If that doesn't roll off, it'll look um, okay. All right, well, let's just leave it at that and uh, we'll come back and have a look at the review tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Here's our review for our pours that we did. This one I'm going to call the Blue Ocean Pour because it's going to match up with the Blue Ocean Kit that I'm going to release with these colours. So we have the gorgeous Michelle Shimmer is so pretty glistening in the sunlight here. We have got the Cerulean, we've got the Aqua Gel Tint and we have a little bit, because it nearly ran off, we've got a little bit of the, uh, sorry, Beach Sand Luster. So that is our, our pour, the Blue Ocean Kit and the colours are gorgeous and I did have, well I have had requests for more bluey tones for ocean kits and more turquoise. So we're going to have one of each. So this is going to be the colours in the blue ocean kit. <coughs> Excuse me. And then this one is our lovely turquoise one. So we've got the Thornton Shimmer here. We have got the Rondaqua. We have got the turquoise gel tint. And then look at the, how that's glistening here. The beautiful creme deluxe really really pretty for sand so that one is our turquoise ocean kit so look i hope you like them give me a thumbs up and uh, if you haven't already subscribed please do so because each week we have something else that comes along so have a wonderful week ahead everybody have a look at these kits they should be online uh, very shortly probably by the time this goes to air they'll be on on the site so there will be a turquoise ocean kit and a blue ocean kit. And if, remember, if you don't give it a go, you'll never, never know. Have a wonderful week, everybody. Bye for now.